So you may have already seen my individual reviews of these two Chromebooks, the Lenovo 500e second gen on the left and the Asus Flip C214MA on the right, two rugged 11.6 inch convertible education focused Chromebooks. So I thought I'd give you a comparison video of the key differences because there's a lot of similarities. So let's just look at the differences here. If you're looking to buy one or the other, definitely check out their full reviews too. And I'll link those in the video description down below. So port wise on the left hand side it's a match but what you do notice is the Lenovo on the bottom is a little bit chunkier and as you bring it round to the front you can tell that the footprint of the Asus is also going to be a bit smaller. Noticing the weight of the machines they're both very similar at 2.14 pounds. The Asus is just 0.2 ounces heavier that's about 6 grams heavier but it does feel like the Lenovo distributes the weight better when you pick it up it's a bit more even than the Asus. Here we go on the right hand side, so the only difference here is there's an additional USB-A port on the Lenovo, so that's the difference in the ports overall, otherwise they offer the same connectivity and functionality there. Both of them keep their stylus over on this side, so out of the Asus here it's this fairly small stylus, and then if I show you the stylus in the Lenovo as well you'll see straight away it's a larger stylus, maybe easier for smaller hands to hold and draw with, and I do find that using the Lenovo stylus on the Lenovo of course it's just a slightly smoother process, uh, it feels slightly better engaged with the screen than the Asus stylus does, not to say that it's bad um, but it's just a slightly smoother process on the Lenovo. For the build quality of the machines themselves I did find that the Lenovo was picking up scratches uh, a little bit easier than the Asus and also having a bit more flex in the screen which again you'll see in more detail in the full video review. And mentioning the screens themselves, so both screens are decent, the Lenovo on the left here, it should be brighter at 250 nits, but I'd say to my eyes the Asus actually looks brighter even though it's a claim 235 nits. Both screens are glossy, Lenovo state theirs is an IPS screen whereas Asus don't mention that, but to me it looks like they both are. When it comes to everyday use there's not much to separate the performance of these two machines but on paper the Lenovo does have the newer processor, the N4120 rather than the N4020 found in the Asus. And related to that battery life is extremely similar in my unscientific tests as well. So I did a long drain test of these two and the Lenovo lasted just 15 minutes longer than the Asus. When it comes to differences for the keyboard and trackpad, the keyboard on the Lenovo is slightly nicer to use in my opinion, and the trackpad is certainly larger. You'll see examples of use of both of them in the full reviews of course. And when it comes to the world facing cameras, although they are the same spec, they are positioned differently as you can see highlighted in this picture. Both machines have their speakers on the bottom, but the sound itself is actually louder on the Lenovo, but that's not necessarily a good thing, it sounds flatter than the comparatively quieter Asus. If this of Chromebook differences video is useful please do consider giving a thumbs up and if you want to check out these two Chromebooks as well as some others in more detail then here's my small Chromebooks playlist. Cheers!